एक्स्ट्रा टाइम मिष्टि कथा बेंगल टेस्ट ऑफ स्वीट्स I think, you know, for me personally, um, feeling his attitude and the intensity in which you want to to go out and have on a field um, your anticipation and your awareness of what is taking place at that point in time needs to be on point and. You know, both teams, you know, have been guilty. You know, dropping catches and you know making simple and basic errors. And at the international level, you don't want to be dropping, you know, international batsmen. So, definitely, is an area that needs to be worked on. But having said that, I think as a fielding unit, we have been pretty decent. Um, yes, we drop a couple of catches today, but overall, throughout the T20s and the ODIs, I think we have been pretty, pretty good. Our standards have risen a bit. So again, you're a human being, and you're entitled to make mistakes. And again, as I keep saying, and in conversations with people, it's unfortunate that our mistakes are being broadcast, so everyone can have an opinion on it. But as I said, we have something that we have worked on, and there's been a big difference in our feeling. So we take two top practices today, not what we wanted, but we go forth. What happened during the field day? Like, hey, bad batting was there, good bowling. Combination of both. A combination of losing five wickets in that space of time. Um, it's, it is what it, it is. What it, is. Um, it happened. Uh, it's a situation. We're in a good position. Yes. And any time you play in cricket and you lose wickets and you lose wickets so frequently, you're going to put yourself, you know, on the back foot. So, again, that's one of the areas in the chase where we where we faltered, and you know we accept that is you know we're chasing 388, and you know guys never had to go out and you know. Go and express themselves earlier rather than you know trying to get in. But you know, having said that, I thought where the game really changed was in the last 20 overs where we bowled the last 10 overs, went for 127 runs, you know, or so. And that's where they we lost the momentum in the entire game. Before that, we were neck and neck, you know, with them. It was a good track. We knew it was a good track, and we didn't really execute in the back end, which has been a bit of a storyline for us in terms of. When we get on a, a flat track where there's not much, you know, for the bowlers. So, again, you know, you take it. We, we put up a good fight. You know, still proud of the way the guys, you know, continue to come out and fight. And um, you know, hopefully, we come in the next two or three days and give a better showing and be a better count to ourselves. See how it goes. I just have one more question. Uh, on Shaiho, basically, he is <coughs> like a, a striker that can bowl in the 70s, but he's averaging over 50. So. How, how relevant is he? Like, how important a ball in the media is he for you? Like, when you look at the West Indies side, given like there are short measures around him, so how important is Shai Open? Very, very important. And sometimes we get carried away by so many stats and so many data, we forget the importance of how you build a team at times. You can't build a team with only guys who play shots. You gotta have an anchor, you gotta have somebody holding one end. If you look, at the way we have played cricket over the past few years, we have been losing a lot of wickets early up. So you have to build a foundation first. You can't build the top part of your house and then look to build the bottom. So yeah, we have identified Shai as you know the guy to, to lay that foundation for us. When you look at his stats opening the baton, it's phenomenal. And again, everyone has roles and responsibilities. You look all the guys around him, the strike rates are pretty, pretty high. And that's how we get an average, right? When we have up, down, then we find a middle ground. So, again, it's about building blocks. It's about identifying areas where, as a team, you have fell long before and you need to fix. And then you fix other areas. So, as I said, it's work in progress for us. And we don't want to get too in detail in, in, in the data and the strike rate. We'll leave that for you guys to write about. And we will enjoy reading the articles at the end. I won't, I won't tell you the exact strategy, but what I will tell you is that we're going to prepare well, we're going to go back, we're going to try to go over where the mistakes that we would have made, 
try to correct it in terms of practicing it and you know trying to perfect it and again come on fighting have we, as we have always done you know throughout this entire series so nothing is going to change for us in terms of how we prepare and the guys have been really really good when it comes to that so it's just a matter of again we fly tomorrow have a rest get back on that training pitch and come and try and put on a show in three days' time. Just want to go from the last match to this match. Like, we got throughout this series has been pretty agitated at the fall of this series because the celebrations have been animated and probably the last match was exactly happy with you. All of the decision was the correct decision, I the correct decision was made. He was not happy that the umpires went back. So, and in animated gestures, today also at your fall of wicket, like, are you surprised because in between Virat had toned down a lot? Suddenly it's the Virat of 2011, 2012 coming back again. Like, some, like how do you feel? Well, you have to ask him why he's so animated. I can't answer that question for you. Um, as I said before, it is what it is. Let you ask him that question, let him answer why he's animated. I, I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know. I'm um, just a matter of not trying to give them the same bowler, you know, back to back. You know, they, they were set batsmen there. They were going and, you know, trying different things. At the end of the day, I said, you make a decision. You can talk about this one didn't bowl. But when they were bowling, they were going for runs as well. So, again, sometimes there's a decisions and you have to make at a certain point in time. And it works, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And you just you crack on, you, you look back as to where it could have been done things differently. And, you know, you move on. Cricket is a game where, as you say, you can sit and you can analyze everything afterwards. But when you're in the heat of the battle, the decision is to me, I can't go and look back and say, wait, let's see what's going on here. And then try to make a decision. It's a spur of the moment decision. And it's a game of luck and chance. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, guys, a lot of guys haven't bowled 10, 10 overs you know, in this series. It's going to happen in series going forward. We have options. And in order to get things right, you've got to try the options. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.